Hi everyone, it's Olga, and today I have Sergi here with me, my husband. How you doing, guys? And today we're gonna take you guys behind the scenes of Olga's Flavor Factory and just share some of the things we've been working on lately. Yep, we'll just kind of open the curtain to our house a little bit. <laughs> yeah. We usually go on a family vacation in the beginning of summer, in June, but this year we're doing some house projects instead. So let's take you back about a month ago when all of this happened and tell you what happened. I just finished filming a video all about cutting boards, so I'm pretty sure that video already went up. But Sergi just came home. He's helping me put all the stuff away. Hey guys. It's always so much easier when he films me than me doing it by myself. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. We are gonna start doing stuff for the house because we've got a lot of projects happening right now. So we'll tell you a little bit more about that. So a couple of weeks ago, I woke up in the morning and I noticed a floor in the kitchen, a wet spot on the floor in the kitchen. So I knew not this, not anybody like dropped some water on the floor or something like that. So we were all sleeping. Yeah. So that was like, whoa, what, what is going on? So I, when I pressed on the floor, I felt there's water underneath the floor, which is not a good sign when you have uh, bamboo or wooden floors. So we have floating floors in the house. So they're not glued down to the concrete. It's Florida. We have concrete and then floating floor on top of it. So, um, yeah, we couldn't figure out what was happening. We checked all, all everything possible we could. We could not find where the water was coming yeah, from. Yeah, let's show them where it was. Yeah. So it's right here in front of the sink. This is where. But it started the right here. Is. Right here. Yes. This is the, the buckled board. See, yep. it's still moving right here. Mm -hmm. That's how it buckled up. And uh, it, yeah, it got water coming in in these corners. It's kind of hard to see because of the way the light is shining and just like on video in general. But if you can see right here, you can see the buckling starting right over here. So this whole area was getting some water damage right there all the way over. You could see that little hump over that that's where it was the worst. But we checked everything. The sink was fine. Um, so, and then, you know, the dishwasher, we checked that underneath was dry. So I thought maybe because there's water uh, that goes to the sink under the concrete, that's how it's done in Florida. And we thought maybe something happened and the uh, pipe burst in the concrete, cracked or something and it's slowly leaking. Yeah, it was um, bizarre because it wasn't coming from anywhere where water comes yeah, from. Yeah, it's dry next to the sink, but it's not here. So um, we called in an expert. First one came in, looked at everything he couldn't figure it out. He's like, I have no idea. The sink's dry. He got the meter for the moisture meter, checked everything. Everything checked out. He's like, I have no idea. You need the water expert. So, oh, and, and yeah, also you took off the baseboards from, right. from uh, took, the... Took the baseboards so we can see kind of underneath the cabinet. Yeah. It, it, you see that everything's kind of dry. So they called in a water expert. And first thing he walked in the house, like, well, let's check the dishwasher. I said, well, sure, you can check it. We've already checked it. It's all dry and it's all fine. So like, yeah, I'd like to check that first. <laughs> so he uh, take the, the baseboard underneath of it, like the, the metal board that it takes it out. So it's all dry, it's all fine. He's like, well, let's run a dishwasher. I'm like, yeah, sure, if you want to run it, sure, run the dishwasher. As soon as the, the dishwasher turned on, you see like a splash of water coming down on the concrete, because there's no floor underneath the dishwasher, just concrete. So. Basically, something about a part right in the middle of the dishwasher that moves and when it's on, it's leaking. When it's not on, it's dry. So when I was checking it every time and the other guy was checking, we weren't using it, so it was dry. It's fine. The dishwasher's fine. It's only like a four-year-old dishwasher, so it's not like it's a KitchenAid. It's a good brand. So basically, the water was leaking out of it and was leaking underneath the subflooring or the, the pad that, uh, that's, that this floor sits on. And it was, that's a little spot. It just would end up right here. So now that we know it's dishwasher, we got to still fix that. They're going to come out in about five days or so to get that fixed. But now we have a floor, so we are redoing the floors. Because it's the same floor throughout the whole house. And yep. this floor is not manufactured anymore. We can't buy it anywhere. So yeah, now that means we're redoing all the floors. Yep. Exciting. <laughs> a lot of work. 
That's what it is. Mm -hmm. So. This is also our last week of school. So we just have this last week with the boys and two more days next week. So during the last week of school, it's going to be construction zone as well. Yep. And it's inevitable. It's going to be, it's going to be nice and loud. And, uh, but it's going to be beautiful when it's done. Yes. Yeah. With remodeling projects, it always gets worse before it gets better. But then it's worth it in the end. Yes, it is. So the first order of things was for us to get the floors out. Yep. They were wet underneath, they couldn't dry because they were uh, locked in underneath the floor. So we pull, pulled the floors out and as, as much as we could and that was that was done like the week before the Memorial Day weekend. All of the water damage is right here, yeah. not in front yeah, of the yeah, dishwasher at all. Was flowing the That's same. so weird. And then over there, and they went all the way into the living room. Oh yeah, that smells really musty. <laughs> what did you do? What did Papa do? What is happening? What actually, what did you do? What is actually happening? I huh? did actually do that. Oh, that Look at those big giant nails! Just the screws. Those are so big! Absolutely humongous. I want to see your hat. Okay, you want to see yourself. I want to see your Isn't that long? Yeah. See, this is the this part is where it was dry. And this is all wet. And it went even under the island. And look, it's like this is the dishwasher and it was right there. Interesting. Baking some muffins, strawberry blueberry muffins. We're gonna have lots of helpers tomorrow coming to help us with the floors. So I thought I would make some delicious muffins to enjoy for breakfast with some coffee. We're gonna finally start getting these floors done. So it's been a little bit weird cooking without a floor and having to wear shoes in the house. The boys were telling me, how strange it was to walk around in shoes in the house and using the island right here it actually feels a lot smaller when it's over here than when it was in the kitchen probably because half of it's taken up by all these dishes too but Sergi told me I have to not overload the island because it's not attached to the floor or anything so I don't gotta stay safe <laughs> don't want it falling over Let's get this in the oven. I took Friday off mm -hmm. and uh, we started getting all the floors out of the whole house because we have the same flooring in the, in the entire house. Yeah. We uh, have an amazing family that came in and uh, we've had probably, what, five or six people working here at one time. That was awesome. Um, Such a huge yes. help. Yes. For that weekend, they helped Sergi a lot to get yeah, a could really have, good start on we the We could not have done project. it with, without our family. When we started the project on Friday morning, Sergi had already removed a lot of the floors as much as he could, but we have some heavier furniture, so he needed help from several people to help move the furniture out of the way, remove the floors and you know put it back. So that was a lot more challenging this time, mm -hmm. doing the floors, because when we had moved in and redid the floors eight years ago, we didn't have any furniture in here, so that was much easier. Yeah, now we had a nice. bunch of furniture and people in here, so mm -hmm. you know we had to deal with that too. But uh, because we had so many people helping, it was a breeze. They just got it done so quickly. Mm -hmm. I still had a few things to do for the vlog, so I was editing, and I think I posted a new recipe or something, and then we did some school with the boys in the midst of all of the floors being removed and furniture being moved, and then things escalated quickly, and the project became a lot bigger than we had intended. Yeah, so when people started arriving to uh, get the new floors installed, our Uncle Mike, he, this, he suggested that uh, one of the walls was kind of in a way, you know, <laughs> kind of closing out the, it's closing in the, the dining room from the living room 
and uh, it would probably be a good idea to take it down since we're doing the floors because that would be a good time to do it um, which was a good time to do it so uh, I uh, I wasn't planning on doing that for sure <laughs> nope. we all had to talk him into it I'm like no no we're just here to do the floors we're not here to remove any walls because that's you know that's gonna be a lot of another another project and so I kind of uh, asked Olga like so what do you kind of think you know about it so what'd you do <laughs> yes two thumbs up let's get I, it removed she was like on board you know like she's always planning and doing it at the same time <laughs> <laughs> What's happening now? Well, you tell me. There. You, you know, the construction, the construction team got your approval, <laughs> so I didn't have a say. You guys got one better. That wall is coming Get down. That wall, it's not load bearing and there's these two arches. It's kind of outdated by now. That was the style back in the 1990s when this house was first built. So it was a great idea to take down the wall. There's so much more space there without that wall there, but it definitely made the project a lot bigger because it added so much more work. Yeah, so we started in demolition uh, of the wall at that point, but yeah. it, it was good. Uh, we had all the the, the, the trailer for the, the, the dump truck is already there for the floor. So it made it so much easier to just do it at that time. The, not that the wall was gone. It was easier to install the floor yep. and everything just opened up and it looks so much, uh, so much bigger. And in the living room uh, and the dining room looks brighter, uh, looks more spacious. So uh, it, I was on board. Are you glad we did yes. it? Yeah. I mean, when I saw... With the light coming in into the yes. dining room through the through through that opening is like this is good it's um, like a new yeah. house it's yeah. awesome yeah we were really it's great like, yes. yeah and we knew that if we were gonna take that wall down it was either now or never because mm -hmm. then we'd have to redo the floor again and mm -hmm. we definitely don't want to do that again yeah. so the project went on smoothly uh, that Friday and Saturday uh, because we had so much family here we mm -hmm completed most of the floors. I just had to finish two bedrooms yep. the, after that weekend um, uh, because we had floors stocked in there and, and other mm -hmm. things. So uh, I would have to do it later. But now all of them are finished. Just have to do the minor things, do some baseboards and yeah. some trim and uh, patch up the, um, the, wall and the, the walls ceiling. and the ceilings <laughs> and uh, sand it down and texturize it and uh, all the fun stuff. Yeah. The floors we had before were bamboo and they were dark. I actually like how they looked, mm -hmm. um, but this was our first house. So we didn't really have any experience with remodeling or choosing different things to put in our house. So actually I would not recommend getting dark floors for anybody. And glossy. Yes, well, yeah. because they showed up every little speck of dirt and you could even see footprints. Like I would wash the floors, they'd be perfectly clean. And as soon as you start walking on them, they look really dirty, even mm -hmm. though they weren't. So yeah, these floors are lighter and the color that we chose was specifically so they wouldn't show up dirt as much. Mm -hmm. So now it's awesome. Even when we just install the floors, everybody was walking in their shoes. There was sawdust all over the floors. They were so dirty, as dirty as they'll ever be, but they still looked amazing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm just thrilled about that. So we've been enjoying that the last few weeks. Since my channel is all about food and recipes, I thought I'd share what I did about cooking that weekend when we were redoing the floors. So thankfully we still had our stove, the oven available. So I was still able to cook breakfast easily because I did that before everybody arrived. And then for the dinners, for the first day, because I wasn't sure how the project would move along or maybe if they would be installing the floor there, I planned something super easy and I decided to make chicken tacos. So I actually got 
two smoked chickens from a local place, Sunny's Barbecue. I don't know if it's in other states, but we have a bunch it's, of it's them a, in Florida. Yeah, a bunch of them in Florida. So it was really easy. I just went and picked up the chicken, brought it home, and then set everything up in our sunroom. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a big mess, but we made it work and had a delicious dinner. We really enjoyed it, yes, absolutely. For the second day, I also planned something super easy for dinner. I made my hamburger helper, or sometimes it's called cheeseburger pasta. So that one's super easy. It's with ground beef and tomato sauce and pasta and cheese. It's very mm -hmm. comforting, very easy. Mm -hmm. And I just served that along with a salad. And then I actually made chicken soup the day before when nobody was here and that was ready in my fridge. All I had to do was reheat it and I served that with some rolls. Yes. So it was really easy, not a lot of work for me. And it was, you know, a comforting home meal in the midst of all of that. Mm -hmm. Got to make sure we feed all of those workers well. Hi guys, editing Olga over here. I'm editing the video and I wanted to mention that a construction zone or, you know, remodeling the house is not the best place for little kids. So of course our boys had to be here some of the time when that was happening. But for the most part, I tried to take them out of the house as much as I could. So they loved watching the wall come down and contribute a little bit here and there. But I wanted to get them out of the way so that the work could go faster, first of all, so they wouldn't be underfoot and also to keep them safe. So whenever I could, I would take them somewhere out of the house. So we went to Barnes and Noble one night. Uh, one of the days my brothers came over to help with the floors and he had his kids with him. So I took all of the kids to the library and to the park. So we hung out uh, outside and turned on the bubble machine and they rode their bikes and ran around and had a great time together. So we had fun including them in some of the parts, but you know, for the project to flow more smoothly, it's best to keep children away whenever you have the opportunity, of course. One thing we've learned about house projects is that they take a lot longer than you plan and they cost a lot more money too. Yep, than, than, you, you, than you originally think. Yes. Well, because you start doing other things and, yeah. and it's or, good time to make things better, but. And yes. I think like a lot of things you don't know that you're gonna need. The house is still in construction zone. Mm -hmm. So we like our guest room and the office have a bunch of things stacked up in there. All of mm -hmm. our rugs are rolled up because we still have to do the baseboard. So the furniture isn't, isn't even put back into place because we're going to have to Stop move it anyway. Yep. And then we don't have curtains here in the living room because of that as well. But anyway, it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be worth it in the end. Yes. We're excited to show you when it's all finished. Yes. So stay tuned for part two. Mm -hmm. We'll show you more of the kitchen there. I don't think it's going to be anything major, but we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the story of what happened. I guess as a homeowner, some things come along that you don't expect and you know, you got to deal with it. Yep. I don't know if something like that happened to you guys, but this is a first for us. I mean, mm -hmm. We never thought a dishwasher would leak and it would create so much damage as yeah. well. So, um, and now we're just like thinking, what do we do? Do we fix this dishwasher? We already had a, the guy out mm -hmm. once to take a look at it. He couldn't, he didn't want to fix it because things were unplugged. That's another different story. But, mm -hmm. um, and, and do we just buy a new one? I mean, it's an, it's an okay dishwasher, but. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, the guy that was out here, he said that things like this happen to dishwashers. You know, I asked him, you repair these dishwashers all the time. Yeah. How long do they usually last? Is, is this a common thing? And he said it is that within three to five years mm -hmm. nowadays, the way dishwashers are built. I don't know if this is true or not. This is what he told me mm -hmm. is that things start to break and you need to replace different parts. So now we're kind of debating, yeah. should we replace the dishwasher or should we just try to repair it because he's not even sure what exactly caused the damage 
Yeah. So. so it did not sound very comforting. Like, yeah. I'm going to fix, fix it for you, not, and, and it's going to be good for another four years. So, yeah. I mean, there's, we're researching different alarms, like a water alarm. Mm -hmm. If something leaks, then it would beep or something like that. So we're mm -hmm. still in the process of it. So we'll let you know what we figured out about that. So it's still ongoing. Yeah, my mom's dishwasher, she got, before we were married, we've been married for almost 60 years. So if that thing is working. still working great yes. and washes yeah. dishes amazingly. So things are just not built the way they were, you know, back in the day. Not anymore, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys have had experience with dishwashers leaking, let us know. Mm -hmm. And possibly if you have a great dishwasher, let us know as yeah. well. So maybe give us suggestions. We, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If we do end up replacing the whole thing, which I'm hoping we won't have to, but if we do give us some suggestions on that as well. Yep. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two. We'll show yep. you more of the kitchen and what we're going to be doing there. We'll see you soon. Go ahead, open it. Ready? <gasps> they look so good! Woo, steam! Oh yeah! Beautiful! Shall we get them out? Yeah.